check this out. The lead developer of Shiba Uno just may be once again hinting at the far-going plans of Shiba Uno for using AI and overall expansion of its adoption. Now, isn't that interesting? Let me show you the rest of the details. But also, guys, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Now, check this out. Shaitoshi Kusama has taken to the social media platform, once known as Twitter, to share a cryptic message with the Shib Army. Kusama posted lyrics of a song by Taylor Swift. There are two possibilities, guys, as what this could be meaning. Both could be significant for the Shib community. So, here's what message Kusama could be trying to get across, guys. Kusama shared a piece of a lyric from Taylor Swift's song, Bad Blood. The first possible interpretation is that ship leader is again hinting at the team's plan to cooperate with the Bad Idea team regarding certain AI initiative related to Shiba Uno. Do you agree? Tell me down below. Also, recently Shaitoshi shared an expose to say that he had a successful meeting with some of the Bad Team members where they discussed initiative for the ship based on artificial intelligence. The second interpretation of Kusama's tweet is much less to do with the technology but rather with the pop culture and the adoption. Earlier this week, BitPay, a crypto payment processor, also announced that thanks to the new collaboration, it will help crypto community to buy tickets to the new movie about Taylor Swift's Eras Tour. Tickets can be bought with Shiba Uno, Dogecoin, XRP, Bitcoin and Ethereum and more other dozens of other cryptos that are available on BitPay. Now, check it out on screen, the official tweet from, you know who, Lucy. But also guys, Lucy also shared substantial step-by-step -step guidance for newcomers who wish to invest in crypto projects. Instructions which had include do your own research, avoiding over-investing and not using money that is needed in the short term. Lucy recommended allocating small amounts of investment in the beginning, diversifying one's portfolio to reduce potential losses, using a trusted crypto exchange and wallets, keeping private keys to oneself. Separately, in her guidance list stands keeping one's expectation realistic and avoiding impulsive decisions regarding buying and selling crypto. Guys, be cautious of scams and do your due diligence before investing into any projects added Lucy. She particularly warns against buying on a formal impulse, fear of missing out. Lucy concluded her post by saying, members, please don't forget, investing in crypto can be excited, but it is important to take your time, learn and make thorough decision to navigate the market successfully. And I truly do agree with this lady. Now tell me down below guys, what are you doing to learn about crypto? Are you subscribing to my channel so I could keep your ass updated with the latest ship news on the go? Or are you doing some type of research? Let me tell you guys, you need to learn about crypto before you buy crypto. You can make some serious loss on the crypto market. Guys, I'm telling you, I have made over $10,000 worth of losses on rug pulls guys, rug pulls. There are some clowns out there guys with some real fucked up cryptos and let me tell you if you do not do your own research you can get rugged really quickly now shibami i do hope you guys got some type of value from my content because if you did i'm telling you i really appreciate if you can go down below and subscribe to my channel and while you're there smash the like button so you can help me out with the algorithm on youtube other than that thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one in a hundred years, so like 2123, we will all be buried with our families and friends. Strangers will live in our homes that we worked so hard to build, and someone else will own everything we have today. Most of our possessions will be given away or thrown out and destroyed, including the car that we spent our fortune on and will probably be scrapped. Our descendants will hardly know who we are, nor will they remember us. How many of us know who our grandfather's father was? After we die, we will be remembered for a few more years, and then we're just a portrait from someone's wall. And a few decades later, our history photos and deeds disappear into histories of oblivion. We won't even be memories. If we pause one day to analyze these questions, 
perhaps we would understand how pointless it is for us to worry about 95% of the things that consume our minds daily. If we could only think about this shortly, our approaches, our thoughts would change and we would do things differently. Perhaps we would feel more free to enjoy ourselves and our lives that we're living. Take these thoughts into the rest of your day this week, this year, and remember this saying, if it's not going to matter in five years, don't spend more than five minutes being upset by it.